All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Simeon Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, that taught us this truth, and blessings to the elect and nation of Israel who are scattered worldwide, who are predestined to be saved. This is uh, Brother Yakal. Um, come with, uh, it's not a really a lesson, um, um, it's just more, more or less a public service announcement, you know. Um, just to edify the uh, elect of the nation of Israel and uh, I'm just doing this video because I'm gonna upload on uh, this channel um, a documentary called Family Legacy and here it is on the screen it's gonna be part one part two part three and it's only gonna it's, it's only like 10 minutes apart all right and basically it's about um, it's something a project that I got into years ago before the Lord brought me into his truth about sickle cell anemia all right and uh it's very important because uh I, really what inspired me to do it is uh yesterday I had to uh go to the hospital um to meet this woman because we we do talks about sickle cell because they treat us like shit man and basically they treat us badly because ov obviously it's the curses all right we always have to go back to the scriptures, man. All right, they, in 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 the hospitals, and this is in America. All right, this is in Europe. This is in this country. They treat people with sickle cell like they're drug addicts, junkies. Um, they perceive that you know we're uh, what's what's the word? We're um, not in as much pain as as um, you know we are. And I'm telling you, because I was in excruciating painful condition. You know. Amanda, Richard, hello. Hello. He's the um, CEO of NHS England. What we're trying to do is a bit more of a national campaign around awareness of sickle cell disease and use that as an opportunity, I guess, to kind of draw attention to um, both some of the really great stuff that's going on and how we can improve care, but also some of the things that still need to change. One of the things I'm really keen to do is just hear more about your experiences. They see that, you know, I'm walking, I'm talking, and I'm relatively young, so they're like, oh, there's nothing wrong with you. The worst one, I feel, is the calling us, you know, drug seekers and, you know, you don't, you know, you don't look like you're in pain and stuff like that when you come into A&E. And I just think if it was any other illness affecting white people, let mm -hmm. me say that I'm gonna be honest, we would not be getting this treatment. I was really in so much pain, like crying for hours. And it took ages for anything to be done. And their excuse was, oh, cause we're short staffed. And obviously with like morphine and stuff, you need two nurses to sign it off. And you can hear me screaming in pain and I'm sorry. <laughs> and it's traumatic yeah well I can see goodness me thank you for sharing that because that obviously brings back really um, traumatic memory for you and that should I mean that should just never happen it'd be really good to come back to kind of so what, what do we need to get right <clears throat> so that that sort of experience in, doesn't happen but thank you sorry I'm crying well, we're the ones who should be saying sorry yes. for you, actually, exactly. that you ever had to go through that. You know, and it came from the Lord. It was, it was one of the curses. Now we know, and for anyone that is uh, uh, listening, we always have to remember, because uh, uh, Apostle Reimler did an excellent video the other day. Um, is that Apostle Reimler? Yeah, Apostle Reimler did an excellent video the other day. Well, and I always say this as well. And I try to bear it in mind when I do videos that there are people that are brothers and the few sisters coming into this truth that are new, that are babies in this truth. All right. So if if they come in in this truth, we, you know, we, we, we can do lessons on topics that are deep, you know, because the Bible talks about milk, you know, and, um, you know, like a baby. When you have a newborn baby, you don't feed that baby steak and chips. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, exactly, you don't, man. You feel it milk, all right? You know, it sucks on its mama's tea, man, all right? And that's what the scriptures say. The scriptures say, what? Desire the what? The, the sincere, uh, um, the sincere milk, okay? And when we are doing uh, lessons like that, 
you know we have to make it we have to make things very plain and um, understandable and uh, explain things so even a newcomer a, someone who is a baby in his truth all right can digest this information all right okay it's first peter's chapter 2 verse 2 as as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby all right see so when a baby comes out of a womb all right you don't feed it steak and chips you feed it milk so it can grow man it needs that nourishment and that's what we have to do when we're doing our videos uh apostle Rambla did an excellent video the other day and i've always bear that in mind um but when i went to the hospital yesterday it was basically to meet this uh, edomite woman who we do sickle cell talks with all right you know and she gave us cards and she gave us some uh, a voucher you know like these vouchers that you can buy at shops but i remembered that i'd had this video this was done a project way before i came in the truth and basically it's a, a about a, a israelite couple trying to have a child and then them having the sickle cell trait and the can and the difficulties in the relationship uh, all right because of the stigma of sickle cell all right and we, we know that and i've done videos on this if you go to deuteronomy 28 for anyone that's new all right the lord said um that listen if if we keep his commandments we'll be blessed but if we don't he would put curses on us all right so deuteronomy 28 and 15 but it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the lord thy god so what does that not hearken mean it means not to listen and to do okay it means not to listen and not to do all right let's put it in the blue letter all right that god god would uh, basically put curses upon us okay and one of the curses is sicknesses and sickle cell is one of them that was one of the first things that i researched when i the lord first brought me in the truth why have i got this condition it's terrible all right so let's go to the nlt this thing is a bit up and down all right uh don't want to hearken let's go all right this is deuteronomy 28 let's just read it in nlt all right is a deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 but if you refuse to listen to the lord your god <laughs> oh man and do not obey all the commands and decrees i am giving you today all these curses will come and overwhelm you all right that's deuteronomy 28 and 15 so that's self-explanatory all right if you refuse to listen to your god we're talking about your god here man all right your god that made the heaven and the earths all right your god that does earthquakes typhoons cyclones who makes people have heart attacks he can click his fingers right now and you can have a stroke bro all right so if you do not listen to him all right and do not obey all the commands and decrees i am giving you today all these curses will come and overwhelm you overwhelm you and one of them if we go to verse 61 is sicknesses all right now this is in the nlt the new trans new living translation all right which is more easier to digest for people who are coming in the truth like it says in first peters 2 and 2 who are newborn babes so also when you are um digesting these videos all right and the scriptures when you can go on the blue letter you can always all right go on a scripture and you you can put in which translation uh, you know and, and apostle gabar does that all right he actually has the scripture and it's got the nlt on one side and a king james version on the other side you know so it's more digestible for people coming in all right but one of those curses was sicknesses okay 
and we're going to read it here, Deuteronomy 28 and 61. The Lord will afflict you with every sickness and plague there is. <laughs> I shouldn't even laugh because I'm the one that's suffering. The Lord has done this to me. But that shows you that the Lord is one uh, is, is an entity to be feared. Even those not mentioned in this book of instruction until you are destroyed. All right. So the Bible is what? A book of instruction. So listen, I've got sickle cell and, you know, you know, you know, this, that and the other. But it's my fault, man. All right. And that's why I always try to remember. You know, when I deal with other people with sickle cell, I try to, you know, show them this. But if the Lord has got them blinded, they're blinded. All right. So that's what prompted me to do this um, uh, video. So what this is just uh, basically to show, to say that I'm going to put this on the channel. It will be on a, a different playlist. You know, I'll, I'll do a playlist on the front of the channel. And it will be called um, fam the family legacy. Okay, so when you go to um, the front of the channel, you can watch it. And remember, this is a condition that the Lord has put upon us for our disobedience, man. All right. So listen, you know, it's nice to it's 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 nice that you know you have brothers and Arkham that support you through your sicknesses and that. But it sounds harsh, but it's it's absolutely true. And I say this to other brothers that are in, in our camp who have got illnesses as well. You know, remember that this is all our fault. Okay? The, re the reason why we're suffering, being discriminated against and all this stuff is our fault, man. Alright? So, when I, I'm going to upload the the uh, uh, the video. And I'll, I'll do another playlist here. And it will just be... Uh, it will have family legacies. It will be like a playlist for um, all the videos that are about sickle cell. Because it relates to the scriptures. Okay? It relates to the scriptures. And believe me. Alright? This series that we did years ago. The girl, the, the woman that is on... Um, you know, there's this new program on Netflix. I've seen it called Supercell. 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 Alright? Um, the cost of it and uh, input this is about a story all right of Israelites with powers and they've all got sickle cell anemia they've all got the they've all got the sickle cell gene the trait but somehow it mutated and it's given them powers all right I've watched every episode because the 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 cleaner that I have she gave me a password and um, on this online thing and I watched it and believe me, it's, it's a good, it's something that you brothers and few sisters should watch. But if you put the cast in, alright, the cast for this cell, um, for this super cell, alright. This woman here, her name is Adileo Adideo, alright. Adileo Adideo, alright. She, and she's one of the main uh, people in the cast. She is in this drama. That I'm going to upload. Alright. Which is called um, Family Legacy. Alright. She's in it. I, I I remember her man. Okay. So. She's actually in it. I think she's in part two. If you want to make a full time. Alright. And um, she was a kid when she starred in it. But. What this is going to show you. Is how this condition. Can destroy the family. How it can strain the family. It did in in many respects with my family. Alright. And also it shows you the traits of Israelites, man. The the, the trait of being stubborn, foolish, um, uh, 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 not wanting to listen, you know. You know, being hard headed. These are all things that Lord the Lord does not like. Alright. There's things that the Lord does not like. Alright. Okay. All right. All right. We'll list it and then we'll close, put it to a close, and then I'll upload these videos. All right.
okay it's in the book of proverbs there's many things that the lord doesn't like proverbs chapter 6 uh, verse 17 all right there's, there's many things that the heavenly father doesn't like and when you watch these um um uh, these parts of this uh, drama all right family legacy which is about it, an israelite family being torn apart by the issue of sickle cell you're going to see many of these traits <laughs> that the lord hates in these characters which is absolutely true all right so uh proverbs 6 and 16 all right and let me put it in the blue letter so it's easier for any new person to digest all right let's do that all right this is in the nlt okay um uh, proverbs chapter 6 verse 16 there are six things the lord hates no seven things he detests all right verse 17 haughty eyes what is haughty mean prideful all right a lying tongue <laughs> and you're gonna see haughty eyes in this drama man all right <laughs> you believe that man all right hands that kill the innocent all right you're gonna see a bit of that contemplated in this drama all right all right 18 verse 18 a heart that plots evil feet that run race to do wrong all right verse 19 a false witness who pours out lies a person who sows discord in a family all right that's the big one now when you watch this documentary these this, this uh family legacy this is part two i'm gonna i'm gonna upload part one all right i'm gonna upload part one part two part three all tonight all right and i'll just put it on the on on the channel you're gonna see all of those aspects all right of proverbs uh, uh chapter six verse 16 onwards the things that the lord hates in this drama all right so it's it's gonna edify you as well it's not and it's gonna educate you as well because i'll, I'll be honest my dad never knew that my he had a trait and he didn't because he was a doctor he refused to take a test all right but the lord had it that way because if my dad did take the test and knew that he had this sickle cell trait he wouldn't have had any more kids all right and there i wouldn't have been born so the lord made that um that that whole arrangement with my dad happen okay so i'm gonna leave it at that for now i didn't want to make it too long all right but um this is just an introduction uh you know announcement to make sure that i'm gonna up upload this drama all right and this drama is 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 uh is very telling of an israelite family man all right and it shows you that we are israelites and we're under the curses all right so listen i hope you edified this um uh, videos will be up um in the next hour or so all right so check the channel and until the next one shalom